What's up and thanks for watching guys. I'm Mike from Terrestrial Imaging and here for you I got Unique's brand new H520 commercial platform. This is going to be a brief unboxing video of the base unit for the H520. More bundles will follow and they will include accessories for the H520 like cases and lighting accessories. But for now I got the base unit and we're going to do a brief unboxing so let's get started. So on the table I got again the base unit for the H520, Seago ET and E90. So first we're going to open up the H520. I'll put these two to the side. Let's start cracking this thing open. First thing I noticed is if you look at the box that it's stored in, it's not a color box like the unique Typhoon H. And the reason I think is because this won't be available in your big box stores like Best Buy, so it won't be sitting on the shelf. It's only going to be available through specialty drone dealers like ourselves. So that explains the colorless box. So let's pull it out of the cardboard shipping box. and have a look what's in here. All right, so I got the box that the H520 is in. Uh, when I open it up, I'm assuming it's gonna be something similar to the Typhoon H where there's a foam insert that it fits into. And I'm correct, it's got very similar to the Typhoon H. It's got packaging foam that um, kind of fits everything uh, in this base unit bundle and that is you got two batteries Ooh, Nice orange color to match the copter oh, You got to take these out first the accessory boxes it's accessory box and We'll open that in a little bit. You got the charging base Propellers the uh, sun shield, very similar to the Typhoon H's, it might even be the same. This is packaged in there tight and that's the remote because it's got the um, probably manuals and stuff. And then the ST16S, put that to the side. And then finally, the H520. So if you have another look at the foam, I just want to point out that it does look almost identical to the Typhoon H480's small foam. So what that makes me think is uh, if they're similar sizes, this foam, if you take everything and pack it in, might actually fit into the Typhoon H480's backpack. Uh, we'll get more into that in another video where we compare the H520 and the Typhoon H480. So I'm going to put this box to the side and uh, we'll have a look at everything we just took out of the box. Okay, so in the box and out of the foam, we got the H520, put that to the side. We got the ST16S controller, that to the side, and then the charging base. The two batteries, these are uh, 5,250 milliamp hours, four cells, 15.2 volts. You get two of those, put that to the side. And then we'll open up all these things. We got what is probably charging accessories and cables and stuff, so open that up. Correct, we got part of the charger there that charge, uh, plugs into the wall. We got the charging brick. We got a car charger, which is nice. Not uh, not many drones include that. We got a micro USB cable. This is for, uh, it looks like, plugging into the drone and maybe into your uh, computer. We got a neck strap. And we got a patch antenna, which you could replace uh, for the mushroom antenna on the ST16S. And then, so that's that box. That's the accessory box. Put that off to the side. Um, here it looks like the propeller box. Yep. 
open this up. And put in there very nicely. So we got, let's see, two, four, six, a full set right there. And then there's another smaller box in there, actually. Oh, it's not a smaller box. It's a little compartment with four extra propellers. So that's really cool. You get ten. So put that to the side. I don't have a room here. Sun shield for the controller. Showed you that before. And then lastly, it looks like the um, some like manual material stuff. So that unfolds pretty nicely. We got quick start guide, um, box contents, and then um, some LED status indicators. Uh, what they mean on the back. Um, let's see what else. Just uh, explaining the warranty. And a little know before you fly. So that's what we got in there. So that's everything in the box. Now, now we're going to have a look at the H520 and talk a little bit more about that in the ST16S. Okay, so I just want to show you where the H520 gets its name from. If you measure from the tip to tip on the motors, the diagonal ones, that is, with a ruler, uh, this is in inches, it's 20 0.5 inches. If you convert that to millimeters, that's 520 millimeters. So that's where this gets its name. So it's slightly bigger than the uh, Typhoon H480. And now with the ST16S, if you look at it, you might be thinking that looks a whole lot similar to the ST16. And physically, it's really not much different. Um, maybe on the back it looks a little different, but what really makes this different from the regular ST16 is the software that's in it, and that's um, the biggest difference in the H520 as well, just overall the software. So um, I'm not going to get uh, too much more into detail. That will be in future videos uh, where we're going to show you how to use this stuff and what it's capable. So now let's get into a brief unboxing of the Seago ET and E90 cameras. Let's get started with the all-new E90 camera. Now, again, first thing I notice is the color of the box, very similar to what the H520 came in, and that's because this will not be sitting on the shelf at your local Best Buy or big box store. This is only available, just like the H520, through your specialty drone dealers like ourselves. So uh, let's get started. The E90 is a one inch sensor camera, 20 megapixels, and a 4K video. So, as you notice, it's covering a foam. On top of the foam, you got the E90 kind of manual thing. Um, explains a little bit about the warranty. That's what that paper is. So you take off this little layer of foam, and now you got the E90. So on top sits three extra rubber gimbal dampers. These seem to be filled with silicone as compared to the rubber dampers on the uh, Typhoon H480. Um, these create more stable um, images and videos, stops the camera from shaking as much. And then there you go, there you have it. This is the E90, very cool looking. So right away I noticed the antennas on the bottom. Um, this whole base is different than the Seago 3 Plus that you're used to. Um, this whole um, lens is bigger and it got it has a much bigger lens and it just looks very cool again so i'm going to put that down and now we got a ring and this ring is so that way you could take off this transparent filter now this is really just to protect the lens it looks like so you take that off now you could put this on and what this does is I think I'm putting it on a little. Yeah. What this does is allows you to put on other filters. So probably like ND filters and color filters. So that's what that does. It's kind of an adapter ring. So put this, take this off. So that's the E90 camera. Very cool looking. Much different than the Seago 3 Plus. Um, this will be able to go on the H520 along with the Seago ET and the E50 which will um, be available soon. So far this and the Seago 
Actually, this is the only thing available for the H520 right now. The Seago ET has some work to be done before it's compatible with the H520. So currently, the H520 base and the E90 are the only thing available. So again, very cool camera. So that's everything you get in the box. There's nothing else. There's just a little foam cutout that fits everything. So um, that's the E90. Let's get into the Seago ET. Now the Seago ET. So as I mentioned before, this and the E50 camera are not available yet for the H520. This is a dealer demo model. And what they need to do to the Seago ET before it's ready for the H520, they need to flash it with firmware and um, something in the gimbal needs to be changed. That way it's now compatible with the H520. So uh, let's open this up. Very nice box. So right away, you see there's a case for the e, uh, Seago ET. So take that out. Protect it very nicely, fits in the box very nice. So you have these little cardboard um, inserts. We'll put those back in the box. Now, open it up. You got the Seago ET. So we got a little manual. Accessories, open that up in a second. And the Seago ET that's got the lock on it. So the Seago ET is a thermal imaging camera with dual sensors. The other uh, camera is a low light camera. So this will be used for thermal purposes, obviously. And then in later hours of the day, the low light camera allows you to see much better than a regular lens camera. So this thing, again, can fit on the H520. And what's cool about this and the E90 are that they are hot swap payloads, meaning when the H520 is on, you could take, say, the Ego, the, the Seago ET, and you could take it off, and now you could put on the E90 without even turning off the machine. So that's really cool. And now the reason I think that the ET comes in this case and the E90 doesn't is because the E90 looks like it's going to be your main camera on the H520. It's um, a regular camera, 20 megapixels, so you're going to be using that for capturing any um, images. The ET is more of a specialty use camera for thermal imaging and low light, so that's why it comes in the case, I think. So that way, because you're not using it all the time, this is going to be on your H520 for the majority of the time, so this is um, a nice way to store it when you're not using it. So again, you got the e, uh, CO ET, the uh, foam insert in the case, the case, the gimbal lock, and then let's see what's in the accessories. So you got an SD card and an SD card reader. And then you got a cloth to wipe away uh, anything on the lens, a little hex screwdriver and extra screws. It looks like these are the screws on the bottom um, on the gimbal connection board. And then you got a gimbal connection board. So that explains it. So oh, put those back. Whoop. So that's the Seago ET, and we have the E90 and the H520. These are all available at terrestrialimaging.com. Uh, the E90 and the H520 currently, as of September 18th, 2017, are the only things available for the H520 now. The E50 is coming soon, and the Seago ET compatible with the H520 is also coming soon. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Uh, don't forget to hit subscribe as there will be more videos on the H520 to come. You can also find us on Facebook, like our page, and you could visit us on the web at www.terrestrialimaging.com.